Last time uh, we talked, we were talking about depression, when people got very, very sad and what they could do about it and how it could be helped. One thing uh, I forgot to mention is that very often when people get that sad, little physical problems like aches and pains uh, seem to be ten times worse. Uh, and very commonly, people will go to the nursing station because they've got very bad headaches or very sore backs or they feel aches and pains various places. And if they have the other uh, signs and the other things that we talked about in depression, the, me the, me the medicine for depression will get rid of those pains too. And tonight we are going to talk about uh, addiction and abuse of various um, substances, various substances. Um, you remember at the beginning we mentioned that one of the very large problems is that of alcoholism. I'm not going to talk about alcoholism. I think both you people know that there is a major alcohol problem in the world. And the reason I'm not going to say much about it is that Doctors and medical services don't have any real problem, any real solutions to this problem. But there are organizations such as NADAP and the AA Concepts, which have been great help with people with alcohol problems. And they're getting, fortunately, stronger and stronger in the North. And those are the resources that people should go to if they have an alcohol problem. Uh, uh, Sometimes the counselor there will find a few people who, besides their uh, abuse of alcohol, have some of the other things we've talked about, anxiety and depression, and they can refer them, but it's a very small uh, matter in alcohol needs special treatment. Uh, there are two uh, types of abuse of, of uh, substances um, that, that I want to talk about tonight. One is the sniffing of gas and the other that later is about overdosing uh, by young people particularly. Yeah. So, uh, the lead that is used in outboard motors and in skidoos is in the gas um, and it's there for the purpose of making the engine run better. In, in the south, there are some uh, uh, cars and motors that run on gas without lead in it, or metal, uh, but they take a special type of engine and they haven't been developed or outboard motors and skidoos or the type of thing we see in the north. Now some young kids in the south many years ago discovered that if they sniffed a great deal of gas from the gas tanks or from cans of gas that it, it um, bombed them out if it 
it made them forget things uh, for a little while and uh, they got so they like doing that uh uh, a lot of kids try this because they hear, see other people doing it. Usually kids who are more sick, I guess, and more, and not as strong. And they think that it'll make them a big shot to do it. But the, the most of the kids who try it find it doesn't smell nice, doesn't make them feel good, and they don't do it again. Uh, now the, the lead, or the metal, that's in the gas is there so fine you can't see it. It's mixed right in. It's been ground up into fine, fine powder so that when somebody breathes the gas, it goes into their lungs, into their blood. Uh, a lot of things that get into our blood pass out in the kidney, but the lead being being heavy and and seems to like to stick in bone and in, in the muscles and in the brain. Uh, and when that, especially when that metal gets into the brain, it starts taking away oxygen from the brain and poisoning it. And uh, many young people down south who've, who've done this often have got convulsions and have died. And, and those who've kept on but haven't died, that it has affected their brain so that they become like a retarded person. The, there are two problems. One, that the person finds that whenever they are uptight about something or they have something's not going right in life and they feel sorry for themselves, they'll sniff so they forget things. And that's a poor way to deal with problems. <laughs> But if this becomes a habit, then they never learn other ways of like talking to friends, like changing the way they're living or things like that to handle problems. They just go and sniff. It's been noticed some places that if the parents drink too much, their children are more likely to sniff too much. The second thing is that, that once they become addicted, their body has this lead and uh, in it. When they try to stop, 
they get cravings to have more. They get feeling sick and want to have more. Ah, nay mau hak talik tiluy tak ko piyuman ngi ay piyuman ng kang nagsaulak tayang mata nay mau hak talik tiluy malunut kang niluli ng lawak tiluy timing ni havik takalang mat aung ni nut kang na ayong nang nagsaulak tayang mat. And it becomes very hard for them to quit, and I feel very sorry for the young person who's trying to quit, and then they smell a little gas or they get uptight. And they get this urge to go and sniff, and it's harder than smoke, quitting smoking cigarettes. It's very hard to do. Amalo tapos mga na imaw kapat tumut oksunik nukang nilulog ang lawak tilugit timingin ni habik takalak tilugo ayong natsa may amat pulwat si huwag ng miluning mo ayong nang nagsauli hong mat na imya na akin nakhlutiglo timingit hukatu yaklutig piyuman ng katsa may aliyong mata oksong mag. And some of uh, people have come say to think of this like you have your own devil and your devil is wanting to sniff so that when you get the feeling to do so, you have your own fight with your devil and they found that if somebody can walk away from the sniff and sort of say, I'm going to lick this, I'm going to beat it, and for 15, 20 minutes the urge will go away and each time they get stronger. <laughs> Oksunik na imaw kakti uwag tunit ukaw hikak to kayong ming mat hataan na higayakang man ngu ilungan ni tayo mapiyuman ni kalakbang mat kihianik taan na inuk na imaw kakti uwag to tayo siminga makahataan na higayang minik una taklaya kalang mat ing minik nam minik pitay liluni pitay liluni tayo man na hala kalakpali alirong nang man ngong and if any adults or any people in the community see kids sniffing, they ought to stop them and tell them that this is going to destroy their brains if they if they keep up. Amalo kina may arte ko yara ng mi oksuni na imaw kaktunik nut kaktit tibang ni amat tapos mga inung mo na imaw kaktumut ah pizza ng ilong ni amat na imaw kaktunik te ko yara ng mi nut kaktit tibang ni ako. I'd like to say something about overdosing or uh, popping all kinds of pills for, for various reasons. I did the study from 1970-1980 in the NWT about people who had killed themselves or were uh, thinking of killing themselves and there was one person in 10 years who had overdosed. Yet in the last four or five years, each year we see more and more young people come into nursing stations because they're overdosing. Right? Katali teman nak ukau hari ni aliga isuak saut ini ikang nak makuk tu nu piluak tu nu ah saban timilu eh timilu kau ihalau ke magami ah ikak tu nu makuk tu ame hunu paling mata ah atau hari miglu tu kau ihalau ke mas tu nu ikak tu nu isuak saut ini. And this is is you know becoming new in NWT, but it's an old thing down south, and it started in about 1960. 20 to 25 years ago in Europe and then in North America. Tamanna nunapting ni nutangu yu galwa kihanik tahaman ni kablu na nunangan ni tayo man na ikakluptik pigayuk tung mata 19. Well, let's say 20, 25 years ago. Uki u 25 years lo ni tawan ni tayo ungat akia ni pitak tutukaw galwa ka. Before that time, you never saw young people taking things because most people were afraid to take anything that would affect their mind. Then when a lot of people started smoking marijuana and taking LSD, other drugs, people got less afraid of those things so that they began taking pills that they wouldn't have taken before. Now, the difference between most of the people who take overdoses and people who are depressed and who feel like killing themselves is that these people are not... Uh, interested in killing themselves. They're angry. They're usually angry uh, or hurt, if you like, uh, because, well, you say that one. The man na ukaw hiri lang mago ilang nga teko iikak pa yung langit ka lang mata yung maka kapya huk tutik ihumangit kanwili yaw niya huk tutik tukihanig man na ulak tok ang ayak na tulokinig lupi balik tulokit itfak sa utinig nut Ah, kapya hug, luang ni luang mata ah, 
tamanna uqahirin ya ga tekwa i hibak islah sauti tok faktullu a qubiya hungil walik faktullu a attigi lwabing mata i hiya ga ngamik tuke qangmat a ilumini a qubiya hungil tutik a angry angry at something a qubiya gingi tamindi kubaluni mamiya gi yaqagami ilumini what uh, what has happened is that people mostly young people and mostly girls who want to pass a message that because this boy doesn't like me or because this girl doesn't like me or because I don't like the way my parents are saying controlling me or whatever take an overdose of aspirin or something like that to show how upset I am and to show those people how angry I am because they're not doing things the way I want them. Tukar kangmat, maka kau itu tinil waktu tu, angna ugu me, pekan naga ya minit, pizza ugu yang ni lagu ni luni luni, kau itu tinil ugu luni, eh na yang mat ubal luni, angai yok kah minit, awal tahun yang minit kau bagi yang ni luni, eh luni, kau itu tinil ugu yang mat. The best way, of course, if you want to pass a message to somebody, is to tell them, and it's, that's particularly. Uh, easier if you can talk to your parents and parents can talk to children so that they feel free if they're upset about something to talk to them. Or if your boyfriend or girlfriend uh, breaks your heart, that you talk to your friends about it or tell them who cares. <laughs> Ilagi bakuk tuk mamiat sao malaga ng miglo kubya hong ilaga ng mig islas sao ti tuk suti kawi ti ti niluhong mata pizza o nasa o na yaga luak bago kalugay sa nasa o bak pata kubya ng ita minik. There's a couple of problems. Is that many times people take pills when they're angry that are belong to other people in the house or ones they've got in the bay or something like that. And uh, they don't know. They may be allergic to those pills, or they may take too many, because a little bit of medicine or pills won't hurt you, but there's a point which it can kill you. Amalu ilnuid ilangit, mamiyat sao matlutik ihi hong mata kihyanik. Islak sao ti atigingi mata ilangit pilo alugit na lamang islu ni lamang yaktogit piyakanin ikayuhi hoktogu alit kihyanik and the problem for the doctors and nurses is that although most people who are overdosing are not trying to kill themselves, 90% are not trying to kill themselves, they're trying to do what we said, uh, use a poor way to pass a message, 10% or 1 in 10 may be a person who's very depressed and it's very hard to tell the difference, so they all have to be taken seriously and spend a lot of Hospital time and medical time until they sort out who's who. Amalutai kuwa inuit islah sauti tok patut tokun nilumiat tok sutik ilangi pibangi mata kehianik kawi titi niluhong mata kubia hongin namik ilumitigut kehianik ih yuluk tak kawi hak tau cia cia kawi hagau ya cia reakain dayung mata tokun nilulua bilau mangat ubalunit. No matter how you look at it, uh, taking pills that you don't know the strength of or the cause or, or the results of is very stupid and a very dangerous way to try to, to tell people a message. Thank you.